Thank you. 
call the name that scares every sickness with reverence. We call that name with reverential fear, with utmost respect and honor, because we know it's a name that is above all names. Jesus. We welcome you to this service, Jesus. Holy Spirit, take your place. This is our eighth hour of visitation of this year. And we know you are going to visit your people. You are going to reach out to your people, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As the people say, Amen. Amen. service, an interdenominational service meant to create an atmosphere where the Holy Spirit will reach out and touch the hearts of people. Amen. Amen. You're supposed to interpret your interruption. Okay. <laughs> she's still very much the Holy Spirit. When she's ready, she'll get you. Amen. You know, the Spirit of God was moving here, and some people think it's going to come later. They're waiting for the later one. For, for the, but the one that passed, you didn't, you didn't know. And you walked to him, you walked to him not, but he is Okay. He's still around. And he is not. You will take according to what you need. And you can name that for us that he what you need. So if you are here, it, it, uh, this is a special service. And as you hear, then it is a special dance. Very special service. And he is special dance. It is meant to. Help your faith work better. And it is bedoeld om uw geloof te helpen beter te werken. How? Who? By seeing and witnessing and experiencing the mighty power of God. Door zien, getuigen en uh, ervaren um, uh, de, de machtige God. Uh, the uh, so that you can experience it yourself. So that you yourself can experience That is the point. <laughs> that is the tool. So that you can experience the power of God. So that you the kracht van God can ervaren. All by yourself. Uh, of yourself. So when you are here, dus wanneer u hier bent, be conscious. Wees u zich ervan bewust of what God is going to do. Van hetgene wat God gaat doen. Be conscious. Wees er bewust van. With utmost humility. Met de uiterste nederigheid. What God is going to do. Wat God zal doen. Don't be a distraction to somebody. En wees geen afleiding tot een ander. And don't distract yourself. En blijf jezelf niet. Aan. Because it could be your moment. Want het zal uw moment kunnen zijn. Somebody says my moment. Somebody says my moment. Somebody says my moment. I believe that when God steps in, things change. Ik geloof dat wanneer God binnenstapt, dingen veranderen. Amen. If you believe that, say amen. And I'll say amen. Don't wait for amen. somebody to say for you. You say your Wacht own. Wacht niet totdat een ander voor u zegt, maar zeg het zelf. Wees enthousiast. When God steps into your life, als God in uw leven stapt, people start to suspect that you are doing something else. Gaan mensen u verdenken dat u iets anders aan het doen bent. When God decides Wanneer God besloten heeft to open a door for you, om een deur voor u te openen, people will be shocked. Mensen zullen versteld zijn. There is a difference between when you open the door yourself and when God opens the door. Er is een verschil wanneer u zelf die deur opent en wanneer God die deur voor u opent. You will know the difference. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
One of the things you don't understand is that doors by nature are locked. Eén ding wat u moet begrijpen dat is van nature deuren gesloten te zijn. This door was locked. Deze deur staat op slot. I opened it. Ik heb het geopend. You see that door there? Ziet u die deur daar? It is locked. Het is gesloten. Somebody has to open it. Totdat iemand het opent. If a door is not open. En als een deur niet open gaat. You will never see what treasure is inside. Zult u nooit weten wat voor waardevolle schatten daar binnen zijn. Amen. When God opens the door for the church. Als God de deur opent voor de kerk. Halleluja. It will humble many people. Dan zal het heel veel mensen nederig doen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he opens the door. Wanneer hij de deur opent. When the when God opens the door for your family. Wanneer God de deur opent voor uw familie. Hallelujah. People Hallelujah. wonder what happened. Zullen mensen zich afvragen wat is er gebeurd? Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and ask the Lord to open the door for you. Heb uw hand omhoog en vraag de Heer de deur voor u. Don't ask for the door that only you will enter. Is it door you? People will come to you. You will be a blessing to people. You will serve people. Maar dat u een zegen kan zijn tot mensen en dat u mensen zult dienen. Let the door. Let the financial door open. Let the door of peace open in your family. Let academic doors open. Let helpers be found. Let doors of good friendship be seen. Good relationships. Let the doors open. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to continue today briefly before I start praying for you. God Like I tell I, 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 as I'm preaching, I'll be raising prayer points, I'll be talking, praying for people. So just be, 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 be ready for everything. Terwijl ik aan het preken ben, zal ik ook gebed doen. Dus wees voorbereid voor alles. Amen. 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 We've been de dealing with invisible. How many of you remember invisible battles? We have it over the unseeable strides, the oorlogen. Since January, that's what we've been dealing with. Since January, zijn we daarmee bezig. Invisible battles. Unseeable oorlogen. We have been able to establish and we have been that every one of us that in either of us is fighting a battle a on the that we cannot even see the enemy with our physical eyes. We are fighting a battle zijn een aan het voeren. that we can't even see. Die we, zelf niet kunnen zien. we can't see the enemy. We kunnen de vijand niet zien. But we know the enemy is there. Maar we, weten dat de vijand er is. we know he's there. We weten dat hij er is. And we were able to compare our struggle and we hebben onze worstelingen kunnen vergelijken. with the work of the doctor. Met het werk van een arts. When you go to the doctor, Als u naar een arts gaat, you bring something invisible to him. Dan brengt u iets onzichtbaar. How do we know? Because we have also been able to deal with the symptoms. Omdat wij ook met de symptomen hebben kunnen, of hebben wij kunnen behandelen. Of such battles. Van zulke oorlogen. What you bring to the doctor? Wat u naar de dokter brengt. Are symptoms. Zijn symptomen. You don't bring. You you don't know what is the problem. U weet niet wat het probleem is. You think you know. U denkt het te weten. When you come to the doctor, en als u bij de arts komt, you are bringing an invisible battle for him to help you. Dan brengt u een onzichtbare strijd zodat hij je kan helpen. You tell him the symptoms. Dan vertelt u over de symptomen. Headache. Hoofdpijn. Cold. Verkoud. You cannot eat. You can't eat eaten. And the doctor will look at you. And then shall the arts you look at. You say go home and rest. And then say you go home and rest. And you rest for three days. And then rest for three days. And it's worse. And it is for ever. You go back again. You start to look. And you say no, it didn't leave. And I said, no, it is not there. And the doctor said, if I 
after three days did not go, then there is something serious. En dan zegt de aas, als het na drie dagen niet weg is, dan is het een serieuze zaak. Then he will get something and ask you to open your mouth and say ah. Dan zal hij iets pakken en u vragen uw mond open te doen en u zegt ah. He will check your tongue. Dan gaat u kijken, dan gaat hij check your temperature. Uw temperatuur. Check men some things, you know. En een paar dingen nalopen. And then he will give you medicine. Go home. If after some days you come back and he's not gone, he goes to another level. This time he says, We want to take your blood. So that we can look inside the blood. If we can find this invisible enemy. Because all night. Eyes cannot see it. Want met de blote oog kunnen we het niet zien. Our professional, you know, think with the signs we cannot see. Met de wetenschap, met onze kennis kunnen we het niet zien. We want to use a material that is stronger. We zullen een materiaal gebruiken die veel sterker is. To look into your blood. Om in uw bloed te kunnen kijken. To see if we can find it there. Om te kijken of we het daar kunnen vinden. And they say if you hear from us tomorrow. You come, but if you don't hear from us, you know it's not uh, bad. And then they say, as you morgen over ons hoor, van ons hoor, dan mag je komen. En anders dan weet je dat het niet. Somebody say invisible battles. Say invisible battles. If after the blood they cannot see anything. And is als ze na het bloed ze niets kunnen vinden. They go another level. Gaan ze naar een ander niveau. They put you in a machine. Dan stoppen zij u in een machine. To scan. Since ordinary eyes cannot see it, als je nog niet met de blote oog kan zien, we cannot find it in your blood. En we kunnen het niet vinden in het bloed. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Dan verschalt het hij dat zich een We are going to scan everything about you. We zullen alles over u scannen. And then bring it out. It cannot hide. En het naar buiten brengen, want verschuilen kan hij niet. And when they finish, en als ze klaar zijn, they show you. Dan laten ze u zien. And they start treating you. Somebody say invisible battles. The same thing with spiritual matters. And so is it all with the geestelijke zaken. It's not everything their equipments can see. It is not all what they with the instruments can see. But with spiritual eyes. But with the geestelijke ogen. You can X-ray. Kunt u een een X-ray doen? You can check and see what is going on. Dan kunt u checken en zien wat er aan de hand is. And that's what we have been teaching you here since January. En dat hebben wij u hier vanaf januari onderwezen. To be able to know what it is. Om te weten wat het is. To know how they operate. Om te weten hoe dat ze operen. To know their symptoms. Om hun symptomen te herkennen. To know their methods. Hun methoden te herkennen. And if you have been following. En als u aan het volgen bent geweest. You should be able to know. Dan zou je in staat moeten zijn te weten. What you should do. Wat u zou moeten doen. When they try. Als ze het uitproberen. You know why? En weet u waarom? Right from the day you were born. Vanaf de dag dat u geboren werd. Dat je leven was in Evan. Ze gaan u naast de naast de naast. Hij gaat over u tot u richten. You know, before you were born, everybody was happy. Weet u voor dat u geboren werd, was het ieder blij. And from the day you were born. En vanaf de dag van uw geboorte. You have been fighting one enemy. Bent u een strijd aan het voeren tegen een vijand. Which enemy is that? En welke vijand is dat? Some of you don't want to talk. I don't want to fail. Which enemy is that? Welke vijand is dat? Welke vijand is dat? Death. The dood. You say we were very, my God, Holy Spirit, thank you. Very kind, very kind. And it is very still. I told you, you think you have heard everything. When you come here, you will hear something new. And I have, I have you said, you think. From the day you were born. There has been a struggle is there a for you not to die. For you that you need to die. And everything that has been done and all this what is, done is, is to keep you alive. Is to keep you alive to hold you. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything. All this. In assuming you did not cry. Stel nou eens voor dat u niet gehad. The Lord will give you some spanking. The first spanking you get in your life. Dan zal u van de aarde verplegen. De eerste kap op uw bil krijgen. If you don't cry, you will get the first spanking. The first one. En als u niet gehad, dan hebt u die eerste kap op uw bil. And if the Lord is very lovely, you use one finger. So use two. You don't want to cry. And you may miss. Say that he's alive. Say he's alive. 
You see, you begin to struggle to live. Dus u bent al aan het worstelen om in leven te blijven. That enemy called death. Die vijand die door dood genoemd wordt. Begin to fight for that. Begon, begon zijn strijd te voeren. Lift up your right hand and say, I shall not die. I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. Say it like you are for me, for we are quoting the Bible. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. I can live. I shall not die. I shall not die. I can live. If you are inside the vehicle, the vehicle drives on. The first thing you think is death. Mm. Not wound. You don't think of wound. You don't need that. Let's be sincere. You don't need that. Don't. Let me hear it. Say. Fire. Yeah. The next thing you begin to confess, I'm about to die. You are not dying. Why? Because it's an invisible enemy always hovering around. Omdat er een onzichtbare vijand altijd om u heen zweeft. I think somebody needs to shout on that death and say, you death spirit. You death spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out. We fear financial death. We zijn bang voor de financiële dood. We fear failure in life. We zijn bang voor het falen in het leven. We fear death of achievement. Wij zijn, we zijn bang voor het falen dat we iets kunnen bereiken. Death kunnen bereiken. over us everywhere. De dood gaat overal rond. But today, maar vandaag, I have come with a revelation. ik ben gekomen met een openbaring. Because the Bible says, Want de Bijbel zegt, you shall leave. Amen. 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 Nee, nee, Death has no respect. The dead can't gain respect. But it will not come to your door. But it shall not be the door unclosed. Until you have done all you have to do. Turn not now that you're clear, Ben, with all what you have to do. With nice, natural, beautiful grey hair, still bouncing around, playing football with your great, great grandchildren. Your eyes are sharp as anything. Amen. With your teeth complete. Amen. You don't understand it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our glory. Amen. With your hands obeying your brain. Moving around. Amen. Bouncing around. Amen. Preaching the gospel. Amen. Testify the goodness of the Lord. Amen. If that is your passion, say amen. Amen. Today we are going to answer a question. Vandaag zullen we een vraag beantwoorden. Because we are going to deal with demonic impartation of thoughts. Want we zullen het vandaag hebben over de demonische tussenkomst van gedacht in gedachten. And to be able to deal with that topic properly. En om in staat te zijn goed met dat onderwerp zeg maar te kunnen behandelen. I want you to give me your attention so that I can teach you. Vraag ik u om uw aandacht zodat ik u kan onderwijzen. Because while I'm doing this teaching, want terwijl ik dit onderwijs doe, there will be deliverance and healing in this hall. Er zal een bevrijding en genezing plaatsvinden in dat hall. And in order to handle this very well, en om in staat te zijn dit goed te behandelen. I decided to frame a question. Heb ik me heb ik besloten een vraag te stellen. Can Satan influence or put thoughts in your mind? Kan Satan invloed hebben of gedachten in uw stand brengen? Our topic is demonic impartation of thoughts. That's our topic. But our question is, can Satan? Ons onderwerp is de demonische tussenkomst van gedachten. Maar de vraag die gesteld wordt is: Can Satan put thoughts in your mind? Kan Satan gedachten brengen in uw hoofd? Is Satan able to influence your mind? Is hij in staat om uw verstand, uw uw denken? Is Satan able to put thoughts in your mind? Is hij in staat om gedachten in u op te brengen? Have you 
was acted upon the thoughts of Satan. Hebt u ooit gehandeld naar de gedachten van Satan? Hmm. Very important topic. Today. Heel belangrijk onderwerp vandaag. I've seen people who will say, nothing can touch me. I'm a good Christian. And within two seconds, they fall. En ik heb mensen gezien die zeggen, maar niets kan mij aanraken, want ik ben een goede christen. Twee seconden later vallen ze. Why? Waarom? Because they allow an enemy to influence their thoughts. Omdat ze toegestaan hebben dat een vijand hun gedachten komt beïnvloeden. Satan is a good marketer. En Satan is een goede marketeer. He can sell his goods very well. Hij kan zijn waar goed verkopen. Is all, the goods are always in stock. Zijn waar heeft hij altijd op voorraad. It's always in stock. Die heeft hij altijd. And op they are always covered with beautiful colors. En ze zijn allemaal verhuld in, in prachtige kleuren. And good price. Met een goede prijs. When you take one, als je er één pakt, you take two, you get twenty. Dan krijg je de twintig. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Can somebody say amen? Kan amen. In Satan's shop. In de winkel van Satan. Is always buy one and take twenty. Is het altijd koop één en pak twintig. You don't believe me? Gelooft u mij niet? Come tomorrow, ask me how we explain this. Kom morgen, stel die vraag. You can never go to Satan and buy one thing. You can no. There is always things given with it. Eén kopen en één de één ding kopen. Er zijn altijd meer dingen aan verbonden. You buy one. Koopt Let me give you an example. Ik zal je een voorbeeld geven. You buy anger. U koopt woede. You are angry about your brother or your sister. U bent boos over uw broeder of uw zuster. Or you are angry with the church. Of u bent boos op de kerk. No, you are angry with the pastor. Of u bent boos op de pastor. But that's easy. Maar dat is makkelijk. The human being. Bent, Even if you say church, there's nobody. Wanneer het hebt over de kerk, dan zie je niet iemand. You are angry, isn't it? Boos. That's what you bought. That is what you gekocht hebt. Do you know what will come? Weet je wat er daarna zal volgen? Hatred will come. Haat zal volgen. You know another thing that will come? Weet je wat er nog zal volgen? Jealousy. Jaloezie zal volgen. Look at the kind of shoe he's buying. Kijk naar die schoenen die je koopt. He's not on your leg, he's on his leg. Is niet aan uw voeten, maar zijn. His anger that started it now. Begon met de woede. Hatred will come. Haat komt. Jealousy will come. Jaloezie komt. Assumptions will come. Aannames komen. Black. <laughs> you can name anything you like. Noem All of them. They will offer themselves. Bieden zichzelf aan. Bitterness will show Want up. Bitterheid. Say I'm free. Dan. Take me. En die zegt ik ben vrij. Pak me. When you hear the voice of that man. Wanneer je die stem hoort van die man. All your mood will be changed. Je stemming zal veranderen. But it started with anger. Maar het begon met de woede. Hallelujah. And then he will tell you. And then shall I you say? All the pastors are not good. All the forgangers are slecht. Started with one man. He began with one man. Now it's everybody. Now it's an ider. And before you know it, before that you do it, you begin to develop hunchback. Ga u ontwikkelen dat u een bochel op de rug hebt. Because you're so angry. Want u bent zo boos. And before you know it, before that you do it. You begin to have health problems. Heb je gezondheidsproblemen? Before you know it. Voordat je door. You are depressed. Bent u depressief? But it was anger you started with. Maar het was de woede waarmee u begonnen was. And poverty will come. Armoede zal komen. How do I know? Hoe weet ik dat? Because when you are sick. Want als u ziek bent. You won't go to work. Dan gaat u niet werken. You lose friends. U verlies vrienden. Because you be bitter with everybody. Omdat u verbitterd bent geraakt op een ieder. Help your neighbor, so don't buy from him. Zeg aan uw naast, kan ik hem aanzeggen, u hoeft niet van hem. Amen. I think the idea of buy one and take three came from me. Ik denk dat de idee van koop één en krijg drie van hem was. Do you know that those shops, they say u weet, de, de winkels waar ze zeggen, koop één en krijg er drie. Komt. Do you remember? Weet u dat? En je koopt en dan twee gratis meenemen. Buy one and you get two. It's from free. Satan, you got that idea. Dat idee komt van Satan. Because you think you're actually getting it free. You pay for it in one maar, way. Maar u denkt dat u eigenlijk vrij gratis krijgt, maar u op de een of andere manier. So we are going to deal with this topic quickly. What do, do, does it mean to, in, what is the meaning of impartation? 
Wat wil zeggen het tussen en komen? Wat is een partition? Wat is het tussen en komen? Een partition means to give. Het in, in tussen en komen wil zeggen het uitreiken, geven. Convey. Het geven. Of grant. Of toegeven. That means the act of giving. Dat wil zeggen een handeling van het aanreiken van het geven. Of granting. Of het gunnen. Is impartation. Dat is er tussen en komen. And the Bible gifts are imparted. And the Bible are the gaven overgegeven. Romans gedragen. chapter 1 verse 11. Romeinen hoofdstuk 1 vers 11. You do that quickly. For I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift. To the end ye may be established. Romans chapter 1 verse 11. Romeinen. Paul is writing to the church that when I come I will impart spiritual gift. Ik zeg ik ik wil graag iets geestelijks geven. Spiritual gift. Ge geestelijke gaven. Can be impacted. Kan gegeven worden. Can be impacted. Kan gegeven worden. Impartation is giving or granting something. Het tussenin komen is het geven of iets gunnen. So when we say demonic impartation of thoughts, dus it means that the demons have capability to pass on or give Wanneer we things. Het hebben over demonische tussenkomst van gedachten. Dat wil zeggen dat de demonen het in zich hebben om iets over te dragen of te geven. We know that wisdom can be impacted. We weten dat wijsheid overgegeven kan worden. The message of the gospel can be impacted. De evangelie kan overgedragen worden. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 8. 1 Thessalonians 2 Vers 8. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 8. 1 Thessalonians 6. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have impacted unto you not the gospel of God only, but also our own souls, because you were there unto us. Amen. Paul said we don't only want to impact the gospel. We don't want to only give or grant you the benefits of the, of, the, of, the, of the gospel, but we want to give ourselves to you. In the name of Jesus. The power in your voice is not strong for that prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that is here that has wrongly promised anybody of his or her soul. As you hear my voice, I break that covenant. Amen. You didn't hear me as I break that covenant. Amen. That evil covenant that was spoken to surrender your soul to the other. In the name of Jesus, I break it now. Amen. Because the scripture tells us here that you can impact soul. Want het woord zegt ons hier dat wij zielen kunnen overdragen. And material goods can also be impacted. En materiële dingen kunnen ook overgedragen worden. Genesis chapter 28. Genesis hoofdstuk 28. We we'll read from verse 1 to 4. Dan lezen we vanaf vers 1 tot en met 4. Are you all there? Genesis chapter what? 28. Genesis. 28. We just started the message. 28. Genesis 28. Genesis 28. Genesis 28. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughter of Canaan. Arise, go to Padanaram in the house of Bethel, Bethel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence. Of the daughters of Laban, thy mother's brother. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee. And thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger which God gave unto Abraham. If I were you, I would say amen. amen. Blessing that was spoken. To Abraham. And Abraham. Isaac is passing it on to his son. Isaac, he drags it over on his son. 
I lift up my hands. I grab my hands to move. And I bless you in this land. Amen. Amen. Any of you hearing my voice that is doubting that if you will be blessed, I command that you be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This land shall be fruitful to you. Amen. Amen. This land shall speak for you. Amen. You shall not be barren in this land. Amen. You shall not be barren in this land. Amen. Opportunities will come your way. Amen. Somebody will take your hand and show you the way. Amen. Your children shall be mighty on this land. Amen. They shall be fruitful in this land. Amen. What is the meaning of thoughts? What is now the betekenis van gedachten? I went to check from Miriam Webster's dictionary and it tells me that. And I saw it up by in the Miriam Webster's uh, woorden book and he said to me that. Is the act or product of thinking. It is a handelen of a product van denken. It is a developed intention or plan. It is an entwickled intention or plan. Developed intention of what? Entwickled intention of what? Plan. 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 Let me tell you one thing. Some of you think that thought is just what flash and flash up. No, 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 no. Some of you think of us think that thought is something that comes and goes. Your thought, your thought is what you have taken time to develop. Your thought is that thing where you the time for genomen hebt om te ontwikkelen. It is your idea. It is your idea. It is your opinion. It is your meaning. It is your mental activity. It is the mental activity. It is what you have placed your mind upon for very long time. It is that thing where you the thought for a long time op hebt gevolgd. You have given it serious. You have the in serious overweighing. You have cooked the issue. You have the sack cooked. You have taken time to put salt and everything. And you have the time genomen om salt en alles in te zetten. You have tested it. En uitgeprobeerd. And you are not serving it. En nu gaan ze het opdienen. That is tough. Dat is een gedachte. I told you some time ago, if somebody comes to you, say, I'm going to kill you. Take it seriously. I told you in the church. I've said it three times. If somebody tells you, I'm going to kill you, don't think it's joking. Think not that it's a grap. No. No. You don't just wake up and tell people I'm going to kill you. You want not so much to wake up and say to someone, I'm going to kill you. The person has taken time to think about it. The person has taken time to think about it. And he has not told you. And he spreads it now out. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the purpose of this our message is just to answer a simple question. Can Satan put thoughts or influence influence your thoughts? Dus de vraag is kan Satan gedachten inbrengen of beïnvloeden? Satan influences the thoughts and ideas and actions of non-believers. Uh, Satan is in staat om ideeën, gedachten en handelingen van ongelovigen te beïnvloeden. He also does it with Christians. En dat doet hij ook met Christen. How? Hoe? By putting doubts in their mind. Door twijfel te zaaien in hun in hun gedachten. Satan continue to put doubts in the mind of Christians. En Satan die is continu bezig om uh, uh, twijfel te zaaien. You go into that church. You go to that church. And you listen to that man. And you listen to that man. What have you gained? What have you? What is your gain? What have you gained? What have you gained? What have you gained? And you begin to doubt. And I start to doubt. And immediately. And immediately. He begins to flash the pictures that were not nice to you. Gaat hij beelden laten zien die u niet zo fijn waren voor u? And he begins to tell you. En dan gaat hij u zeggen. Is you he's talking about? Hij heeft het over u. Is you? U bent het. How can you take this? Hoe kunt u dit aannemen? Come on. Come on. You are bigger than this. U bent groter dan dat. Can do you can you see yourself? Kunt u zelf wel zien? Those are thoughts. Dat zijn gedachten. From Satan. Van Satan. Creating doubts in your mind. Twijfel creëren in je verstand. And the moment is able to get you. And at the moment that he you can pack it. Sunday morning becomes a torture for you. Wordt zondagochtend wel een kwelling voor u. Just a little thing. It's clients. 
I'm not going to the church. A little thing. It's kindness. Somebody talks to you. You remember what he said three months ago. And you will link it together. So I'm not going there today. I need to stay away for a long time. From who? From me. From children of God. From the children of God. That's not godly. That is not godly. Because the Bible says, "Do not forsake the assembly of the people of God." But the Bible says, "For shame the psalm comes to need." So this is my house. But this is my house. Some people say, "Okay, but I didn't hear the voice of the devil." And some people say, "Okay, but I heard the stem of the devil." Now let me show you his agent. The agent. Ik zal u zijn agenten laten zien. That can impart thoughts in your mind. Die gedachten in u kunnen brengen. If you are writing, write number one. En als u schrijft, schrijf nummer één. Men can impart thoughts in your mind. Mensen kunnen gedachten in u opbrengen. People can put thoughts in you. Mensen kunnen gedachten in u opbrengen. Mark chapter 4 verse 24. Mark plus Hosea 4 verse 24. And he said unto them. Mark chapter 4. Mark plus 4. Verse 24. Verse 24. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear. With what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear shall more be given. And he said unto them, Take heed what you what yeah. you hear. Take heed what you do what? Yeah. Because your ear is the gateway to your heart. What you all are saying, the board and you know, Some people say, Oh, I'm very strong. Uh, it doesn't matter what I hear, I will be strong. So, no, you have not heard yes. enough. We have done it enough. If you hear enough, you will change. The only way you can save yourself is not to give your ear to that thing. You cannot be so strong. Because the Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And fear comes by listening to the devil. And the change of any behavior, whether it is good or bad, starts from what you hear. Lift up your right hand and pray this prayer for me. Come on, pray it very loud. Say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you will not spare. And the spirit that is whispering to my children and trying to take them away from me, I shall not labor for nothing. And I know that take what I've labored for. Amen. Human beings can impact in your mind. Things you never expected the that will change you. The man can things in your understand bring it from things where you never thought that it would so could happen. Because we are spirits. Omdat wij geesten zijn. And when we speak from the spirit, and when we speak from the spirit, it has impact on people. Then he has the influence of the man. You cannot be too strong. You can't be so strong. If you move with a pig. Als u met de vaten op de mooi. Very soon you'll be eating dirty things. Al heel snel zult u van die rotzooi wat eten. You hang around with smart people. Als u omgaat met slimme mensen. You become smart. Dan word je slim. The people you hang around with. De mensen met wie u omgaat. Will impact their life on you. Zullen hun leven op u opvangen. That is why the Bible says. En daarom zegt de. That when we are children of God. We must separate ourselves. He didn't say you should go and hide. He only said you must be conscious of those you associate with. He said you must be aware of the people with whom you associate. So you want to be a millionaire? So you want to be a millionaire? Think like a millionaire. Think like a millionaire. And associate with those who are thinking the same. And let me use one word. Those who can show evidence. Not just talk, 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 talk. And not only talk, 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 talk. 
Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare right now, like I've been doing for some weeks, you shall not labor and another eat. Amen. And you are not saying amen enough. I say you shall not labor and another eat. Amen. Nobody with a tongue that is sweetened, a tongue that has been demonically anointed, will take what is precious from you. Amen. amen. They shall fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. They shall fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. They shall fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. They shall fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. For very long time. Yeah. For long time. How many of you remember? Yeah. You spent time. You spent the time. Carrying your baby. You came to drive. Give me voice there so I don't lose my voice. Come on, somebody give me. You spent time carrying your baby. You spent the time you came to drive. Let's start from where you spent the baby. We are not even going to when you started looking for husband because that one takes a lot of time. We are not going to go to the day to look at our people. And the man is also looking for a wife too. And the man of and finally, and I find that you carry this baby. Draft to the kids. And the baby is kicking you anytime you like. He's playing with me. Kids, hot man. With the messy in your belly. This is not the messy in your belly. Okay. And finally, you deliver this baby. And at end, it comes to the king. And that unusual time is crying, wing, wing, wing all over the place. And you have the one for all the time. And you spend time raising the baby. And you bring the time to the king up to the king. Even you are ready to give your life for that baby. You can set up a start to the baby. And when the baby gets to the point where it can help you. And next one here, the king up to the baby up to the baby come into the king house. Satan will send somebody. That's how Satan even steals. To begin to tell that person that you are not a good person. Or the person to go to tell that you are not a good man. Begin to brainwash that person. The person to go brainwash. And before you know it. And before that you know it. You become an enemy. What do you fear? Your voice is no longer important. Your stem is not longer important. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. In the name of the God that I serve. Amen. I break that chain in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Your labor shall never be in vain. Amen. Amen. Their counsel shall become the counsel of Ahithophel. Amen. It will be useless in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the eyes to be opened. Amen. I command the ears to be opened. Amen. We have been battling on this for some months. And the second thing that imparts <coughs> thoughts is the Holy Spirit. And the trade of what, um, zeg maar, gedachten inbrengt, that is the Heilige Geest. John chapter 14, verse 26. Johannes hoofdstuk 14, vers 26. Quickly, John 14, 26. But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. He shall teach you what? All things. And bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. That means he will not only teach you, but he will make you to remember the thoughts he has put in you. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Somebody say amen. Amen. Let all the parents lift up their right hand and say, Father, Father, all I have taught my children, all I have taught my children, will never be a waste. Will never, 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 never be a waste. My voice, my voice, will always be on top. Will always be on top. After the voice of God. After the voice of God. And they will hear me. And they will hear me every step they take. Every step they take. Those lovely words I taught them. Those lovely words I taught them. Those lessons I taught them. Those lessons. Will overshadow, will overshadow the voice of anybody. The voice of anybody. You believe that? Shout amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The third one is angels can impart thoughts. Angels can do what? Angels can impart thoughts. Angels can impart thoughts. Angels can impart thoughts. How can this be? He said the Holy come? Ghost will come upon you. The Heilige Geest shall over you come. Mary said, how can this be? Maria said, how can this be? Luke chapter 1. He said, how? Oh! And he said, the angel said, the Holy Ghost shall be upon you. And the angel said, the Heilige Geest shall over you come. And that created a thought in the mind of Mary. And that brought a thought, a created a thought in the mind of Mary. Maria began to think that I'm going to have a special child. And Maria began to think that I'm going to have a special child. And when he went to see 
Elizabeth, the wife of Zachariah. En toen ze bij Elisabeth kwam, de vrouw van Zachariah. The baby jumped. Sprong dat kind. To bow down to Jesus. Om te buigen aan Jezus. Somebody shouts hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your thought must be in such a way. Uw gedachten moet op die, deze manier ingericht zijn. That you focus on where you are going. Dat u yes. zich gaat focussen waar u heen gaat. Hallelujah. Angels can shape your thoughts. Engelen uh, kunnen uw gedachten. The fourth one is books can impact your thoughts. En de vierde is dat boeken uw gedachten vorm kunnen geven. What you read. Wat u leest, we make who you become. Zal maken wie u zult worden. The social media group you follow will make who you become. De social media groepen die u volgt zullen maken wie u wordt. If you are listening to gossip, 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 you will soon become chief gossiper. <laughs> Als u naar rottels luistert, zult u al heel snel een goedkope rottelaar zijn. If you zijn. are watching documentary, you will soon become so knowledgeable that even you can argue with philosophers. En als u naar documentaires kijkt, zult u zoveel kennis vergaren dat u met Filosofen uh, in discussie kan gaan. Let's go to Acts 26, verse 24. Laten we gaan naar de handeling hoofdstuk 26, vers 24. Ik wil het even laten zien. Acts 26, vers 24. Zeg, en als hij toen spreekt voor zichzelf, eerst al zei hij met een luid woord: Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning doesn't make thee mad. <laughs> Je zegt, je je studeert te veel, je is even maakt je te gek. Dat betekent dat zijn mind has been changed. Dat wil zeggen dat hij in zijn gedachten veranderd was. Due to books he was reading. Door de boeken die hij las. You want to change your mind? Wilt u uw verstand, uw gedachten uh, Take veranderen? Take the Bible and change your mind. Pak de Bijbel en verander uw gedachten. 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Timotheus hoofdstuk 3. Vers 16 en 17. Vers 16 en 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good. When you begin to study the scripture, you will be perfect in doing good things. Gaat u goede dingen doen? Why? Waarom? Because it will impact on you. Want het zal u zoveel toebrengen, toe, toegeven, toevoegen. Good attitude. Goede houding. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Number four. Number five. Number five, sorry. Demons can impact your thoughts. Demonen kunnen in uw gedachten komen. Dat is waar men zegt. Demons can impact your thoughts. Demonen kunnen in uw gedachten komen. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. 2 Corinthians hoofdstuk 10 vers 5. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. 2 Corinthians 10. Casting down imagination and every high thing that is ordered itself. Against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. When you read this scripture, it's like a fight. Wanneer u deze vers leest, dan lijkt het net alsof het een strijd is, een gevecht is. Casting down imaginations. You know, imagination. Hey! You wait, read the name. My God, please put your hand on your head, everybody. Please put it. Say, Father! Cleanse my imagination. Cleanse my imagination. Let me think progressive things. Let me think progressive things. And heavenly ideas. And heavenly ideas. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, one of you here sent me a video, and the video is very, very funny video. And a very funny video. I will share it because of this one. Exactly. Put that picture back, my dear. I will share with you. A young man had a very good friend. Please listen. A young man had a very good friend. Very good friend. A very good friend. And the friend, you know, went abroad. And the friend came out of the country. And came back. And came back. I mean, they were very good friends. So they were good. They did everything together. So they did everything together. And the young man came back now, very successful. And the the young man came back very successful to it. And the other one got angry. And the other went to Bosa. He went to prepare special uh, voodoo. 
En hij ging een speciale voedsel voorbereiden. And I went to, he went to the car that the young man bought. En hij ging naar de auto die de jonge man verkocht. And he spoke to the to the car. En hij sprak tot de auto. You see, when this guy entered and drive, kill him. En hij zei van als deze jonge man binnenkomt en rijdt, dood hem. Just kill him. And then when he finished, the man was going to put it into his pocket. And the guy said, hey, how are you? He said, they started to talk about their past. And they began to talk about their past. And then some of you already saw the beautiful yes. problem. Yes, and then he took the key. And he packed the key. He, he told the guy, you are going somewhere. He said, are we going? And he said, no, no, no. Said, you can go, I will come. He said, no, no, no. no. And he gave him the key. He said, what? He said, take the key. I don't know how to drive. He said, you can get a driver. He said, I bought this car for you. Deze auto voor jou gekocht. The car he has cost. De auto die hij verploegd heeft. That when they drive it, the person who gets a zinner die. Is the car that was given to him. Was the auto die hij cadeau kreeg. Tap your neighbor, say, don't be in the hurry. Zeg aan je naaste. No, don't be afraid. Tap your neighbor, don't be in the hurry to judge. Wees niet te snel om te oordelen. I tell people, don't tell anybody you I'm not a jealous type. Wait until somebody's success is overwhelming. You need to fast and pray. Not, when somebody's success is overwhelming and you are happy, you can sleep well and genuinely dance. I've been delivered from that long time. I pray for success for people. Amen. It gives me joy. Amen. He didn't know the car was for him. He let him drive the car. Now he has a gift, he cannot enter. He has a gift. Drive it. He's running from gift now. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Everyone that is speaking to your property in order to destroy your life. In the name of Jesus, let there be a, a sudden thunder. Amen. I will visit them in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a rest of we talk there. So now let's look at some examples, then we stop. We shall look at our four build and let's stop it. Go to Genesis chapter 3. Please. Amen. Genesis chapter 3. Verse 1. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Here Satan is talking, having a conversation with Eve, and he's telling Eve something that does not add up properly. Hier heeft Satan een conversatie met Eva en hij vertelt haar iets wat, niet, wat eigenlijk niet klopt. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which was the Lord which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. This is what he told you. Did God say you should not eat anything from the garden? <laughs> Satan knew Satan that God has already given instruction to Adam. That God has instructions to give to Adam. Now let's look at the instruction in Genesis chapter 2, verse 16. Ga Genesis 2, verse 16 om te kijken naar de instructies. Quickly. Snap. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Did God say they should not eat anything? Come on, answer me. Did God say they should not eat anything? No. Then Satan said, Ah, did God, you, God said you should not eat anything. God did not say that. God said you should eat everything except one. You must for all eat, but one said God. That's called deception. That is misleading. When Satan comes, he does not give you a completely new information. He uses the information you know and twists it. Als Satan komt, geeft hij geen volledig nieuwe informatie. Maar hij gebruikt een informatie dat al bekend is en verdraait het. En vers 17 zegt, 
But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Eve knew the truth, and he knew that Satan was lying. Eva wist de waarheid en wist dat Satan loopt. Let's go back to Genesis chapter 3 and read verse 2 and 3. This is conversation. I want you to see how he talks. Naar hoofdstuk 3 en dan vers 2 en 3 om de conversatie. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But Satan was ready to cause trouble. Maar Satan was klaar voor de oorlog. And let's see verse 4 and 5. Kijk mee naar vers 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. You shall not what? Surely die. I told you everything is about death. You shall not surely die. Je zult zeker niet sterven. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Mm. Satan did not say that God lied, did he? Satan heeft niet gezegd dat God gelogen heeft. No. Nee. He only created deception. Hij bracht alleen misleiding. Many people today are suffering. Vele mensen lijden hedendaags. Over simple things. Over sim om sim simpele dingen. That their pastor will just look at them. Waar de pastor naar hen zal kijken. And say in the name of Jesus. En zeggen in de naam van Jezus. I put an end to this. Ik stop dit nu. But. Maar. But somebody else have told them. Iemand anders heeft hem gezegd. You can pray. You can pray. Pray by yourself. Bid zelf. Must they lay hand on you? Moeten ze u eerst de handen you op hebben? You can go. Come on. Kom toch op. Can't you read the Bible? Kunt u de Bijbel niet lezen? And pray? En bidden? Yes, you can. Ja, dat kunt u. And you must. En dat moet ook. But. Maar. The Bible also says. The Bible zegt ook. That there is authority. Dat er gezag is. And authorization. Dat er mensen dat er. And and there are calls. En dat er roepingen zijn. And there are positions in the spirit. En precies zijn in de geest. And there are people who are called prophets and who can speak and things will happen. The one telling you they should not pray for you is not praying for you. He's not fasting with you. He's not helping you. But he's pulling you away from the presence of God. And make you feel that you are something now. Satanic. You see what he's doing here? Yeah? Just dribbling them. That's what the world is doing today. Through philosophy. Through science. Through archaeology. Through music. Through popular culture. Today some of us are confused. Because of what we've been hearing. But I've come to tell you. That this ancient book. Can never be replaced. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The discussion in the Garden of Eden is a very typical example of how Satan put thoughts in people's minds. The conversation in a in a hof is precies een voorbeeld van hoe Satan gedachten kan inbrengen. When you read Matthew chapter 16, and as you Matthew is so successful, verse 21 to 23, I want to close. Verse 21 to 23. You 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 see a discussion between Jesus and Peter. Dan ziet u een discussie gaande tussen Jezus en Petrus. Jesus was talking to his disciples. Jezus sprak tot zijn discipelen. About his mission. Over zijn missie. And, and Peter told Jesus, you don't have to die. You don't en Petrus die zegt aan Jezus, maar u hoeft niet te sterven. You don't have to die. U hoeft niet te sterven. You don't have to die. U hoeft niet te sterven. Very good advice. Heel goed advies. But Jesus knew. Maar Jezus wist. That that was not the thought of. That is not the thought of Peter. And Jesus wished that that not the thought of Peter. And what did he do? 
but daytime. Please go on, verse 22 and 22. Come on, what did he do? Verse 22 and verse 22. Then Peter took him. Imagine Peter now took Jesus. Peter nam nu Jesus. And begin to rebuke him. En begon hem te bestraffen. You are not going to die. Je gaat niet sterven. It shall not be unto you. Look at the 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 the, the theological language. It shall not be unto you. Zie maar de taal. Het zal u niet gebeuren. Now give me verse 23. Let me hear. But he turned. Jesus turned. Jesus and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. He didn't call Peter Satan. No, 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 no. no. Peter was not Satan. He saw who was behind Peter. But he saw who was behind Peter. Say, get behind Satan. He said, get behind me. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou sabrest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. You are speaking as a man. You don't value the things of God anymore. Amen. Get out! Ga weg. He didn't insult Peter. Hij beledigde Petrus niet. But he dealt with Satan. Maar hij rekende af. The problem we have is that we begin to talk to the person. No, you talk to the spirit that is speaking to the person. Het probleem dat we hebben is dat we gaan praten tot de persoon, maar reken af met de geest. Hallelujah. You're looking for somebody who will take you to a voodoo priest. You can find them in church. You gaat op zoek naar iemand die u naar een voodoo priester kan brengen, maar die kunt u gewoon in de kerk vinden. Not here, never. Niet hier. You want somebody who will help you to hate people. You can find them. You should iemand om u te helpen mensen te haten. You find people who can spread rumor. They are here. And we have SM mensen die rondom spreken. Not here, we're in the church. You meet people who will introduce you to bad things. You as mensen nodig hebben die introduceren aan slechte zaken. They are in the church. Dat zijn te vinden in de kerk. It's not the person, it's the spirit. It is not the person, it is the Christ. Deal with the spirit. Because while you are fighting the person, the spirit is happy. Is the Christ blind? Hallelujah. Somebody pray, say, you spirit of this court. You spirit of this court. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command you. I command you. Stop your activities. To stop your activities. Let me benefit. Let me benefit from my relationships. From my relationships. Amen. In Matthew chapter 13. In Matthew chapter 13. We read about the story of the sower. And place where it's from all over the side. But let's read verse 19 from Matthew 13. Let's see. Matthew 13. Let's close it. Verse 19. And when any one hearing the word of the kingdom and understanding it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown into his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. When you hear it, like I'm saying it now, it will just come. So as it new said, then comes he and take it away. And he packed it, he rubbed it weg. And put his own. And that said he that from him. That shall not be your portion. That shall not be your portion. In Acts chapter 5 verse 1 to 3, we read the story of Ananias and Sapphira. In Handelingen hoofdstuk 5 vers 4 en 3 en 4. Verse 1 to 3. Verse 1 to 3. You read the story. It was not them who wanted to do it, but Satan put it in their mind. And it is not him who did it, but it was Satan who did it in their mind. At least they went to sell their property. They went to sell their property. To help the church, but they did not obey completely. Because Satan planted something in their thoughts. Because Satan had something in their thoughts. How do you protect yourselves? Who beschermt u zichzelf? Because it has been established that it happens. How do you protect yourself? Because we have vastgesteld dat het gebeurt. Number one. Beschermt uzelf. Be sure to spend time each day. Reading the Word of God. Be zeker, maar zorg ervoor dat u elke dag het woord van God leest. Number two. Number two. Spend time praying to God. Breng tijd door bidden tot God. Because there God will reveal to you what is happening. Want daar zal God aan u openbaren wat er gaande is. Number three. Number three. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Vraag de Heilige Geest u te helpen. Ask Him to help you. Vraag hem u te helpen. Because if you ask the Holy Spirit, want als u de Heilige Geest vraagt, He will help you to renew your mind. Dan zal hij u helpen uw gedachten te vernieuwen. Number four. Nummer vier. Ask God to protect you from demonic pollution. 
plaagt God u te beschermen tegen demonische vervuiling. Say, Lord, protect me from demonic pollution. Zeg, Heer, bescherm mij tegen demonische vervuiling. Why do you need to do this? Waarom hoort u dit te doen? If you have a room that is wet clean and you do not go there to clean it every time, it will become very dusty. Als je een kamer hebt die heel schoon is en u gaat er niet telkens terug om het schoon te houden, dan zal het een stoffig worden. So if you don't constantly clean yourself from dus pollution, you'll be polluted. Als u jezelf niet continu schoonmaakt van vervuiling, dan zult u vervuild zijn. Number five. Nummer vijf. Put on the whole armor of God. Doe uw wapenrusting aan. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians hoofdstuk 6. Read from verse 11 to 18. Put on the whole armor of God. Doe uw wapenrusting aan. If you don't, als u dat niet doet, the enemy will play with your mind. Zal de vijand met uw gedachten spelen. We are all victims. We kunnen allemaal slachtoffer worden. Even Paul said the good that I intend to do, I see myself doing the bad things. Paulus die zegt zelf, de goede dingen die ik graag wil doen, pak ik mezelf erop dat ik toch de slechte dingen doe. Because the enemy is fighting in our soul. Want de vijand die gaat de strijd aan in onze ziel. And if you don't fight back, en als u niet terugvecht, you will not take charge of your thoughts. Zal, hij, u, zal u niet um, zeg maar de uh, um, leiding hebben over uw gedachten. You are what you think. Amen. U bent wat u denkt. The Bible says. The Bible zegt. As a man thinketh. Zoals een mens denkt. So he is. Zo is hij. You are not different from your thinking. U bent niet anders dan uw gedachten. Don't deceive yourself. Misleid uzelf. Your niet. attitude are formed based on your thinking. Amen. Yes. Uw houding wordt gevormd door dat watgene u kunt denken. That's why you need to entertain good thinking. En daar moet u de goede gedachten op nahouden. You are a product of your thoughts. U bent een product van uw gedachten. And what you feed yourself is what you're going to think about. En wat u zelf voedt, dat is waar u. Um, That's what you think of yourself. This book, this book should not depart from your mouth. Amen. Because it will build you. And you will subdue your enemy. And you will try and underwerp. Let me quickly say this to you. Then I will pray for you. And I shall pray for you. No man succeeds. No man succeeds. Please write it down. Schrijf het alstublieft. No man succeeds in life. Niemand slaagt in het leven. To a higher level. Naar een hoger niveau. Without conquering the enemy. Amen. Zonder de vijand te overwinnen. We all have enemies. En we hebben allemaal vijanden. Some of us have enemies' laziness. Sommige van ons onze vijanden. Op vijand is luiheid. We want free time every time. We willen altijd de vrije tijd. Some of us, our enemy is that we don't listen to anybody. Sommige van ons, onze vijand is dat we niet naar mensen kunnen luisteren. The Dutch people call it eigenwijs. And the the Nederlanders noem het stubborn, eigenwijs. They move until they hit their head on the rock. Ze gaan door totdat ze hun hoofd stoten aan de rots. Other people. Andere. They don't know how to be a good steward. Ze weten niet hoe een goede rentmeester te zijn. They don't want to study it. Ze willen het ook niet bestuderen. So whatever enemy that is affecting your progress. Dus welke vijand ook invloed heeft op uw vooruitgang. Identify it. Identificeer het. And deal with it on time. En reken op tijd ermee af. Otherwise he will deal with you. Anders zal hij met u afrekenen. That enemy. Die vijand. You know it. You can't have. I want you to start rebuking it wherever you are right now. I will join you and just lay hands on you. Begin to rebuke it right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. You know what it is? Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Rebuke it on your own. Rebuke it on your own. Revolution.
in the name of Jesus. Bereid u alsjeblieft uw ogen voor. 